Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel for another third party unlicensed 1-6 scale figure 2 pack unboxing and review video. Now today we are going to be taking a look at the present toys ninja warrior set aka Bruce Wayne and Ra's al Ghul in their ninja outfits from Batman Begins. I'm a massive Batman Begins fan, and these figures are ones that I have been waiting for for the longest time, and finally Present Toys decided to make it happen, and in a two-pack no less, so you're getting both in the one box. So yeah, I'm super excited to get them out here. Do bear in mind though, they are third-party, unlicensed, unofficial product. I got mine from Comic Sanctorum, I have included the link in the description below for your reference purposes only. This isn't a promotional video, this is a review on a figure I picked up for my own personal collection. What we are going to do now though is get the box laying flat in the light box and do the unboxing. Here of course we have the box art and it's pretty straightforward. On the front we have Ninja Warrior, although someone clearly forgot to spell check because that's not how you spell warrior. We also have a silhouetted image of Ra's al Ghul and Bruce Wayne, plus a Batcave image in the background. Present toys on the side, then some warnings on the back. Now they did print all of this box art in this super high gloss. It's a bit of an interesting choice. They've also packaged Bruce Wayne and Ra's al Ghul separately in their own clam trays. So I guess if you were only picking up this package for one figure, you can just take him out and leave the other guy in there. But let's start off with Bruce Wayne first. In-hand impressions are pretty darn positive. I can already see a few flaws though, which we'll discuss throughout the course of the video. As for Ra's al Ghul, or Raish al Ghul, let me know what you think down below which of the pronunciations you prefer. I'm pretty sure he's using the same underlying body, it's just the head sculpt that's different. What we are going to do now though is get all of their accessories laid out in the light box and take a closer look and everything they come with. Here we have all the parts and pieces. Now starting off with the display bases first, they're both that classic Hot Toys oval style display base, crotch grabber up on top, Christian Bale's Bruce Wayne and his name on the front. As for Raz, you have Liam Neeson, Ducard and then of course that same crotch grabber. You also get the same array of accessories for both figures and that makes perfect sense to me. You do get a mask which has a slit around the front, some strings around the back so you simply slide it onto the head sculpt, pull it taut and tie it up. You will see this on both figures a little bit later in the video. I would just caution against using this long term because we all know black fabric does sometimes dye your head sculpts. They also come with a sword each. They are, I'm pleased to report, made of metal. And based on what I remember from Batman Begins, this design does look fairly faithful to what we saw on screen. You also get a set of fist hands and open palm hands, plus the gripping hands come on the figures out of the box. They are relatively simple in design, literally just black gloves, with an armour plate on the back, but I really do like that intricate sculpt work. What we are going to do now though is get the figures themselves out here and take a closer look. Here we have Ducard standing straight up and down in the light box, no crazy poses or accessories or anything like that, and he looks pretty darn awesome. Is he perfect? No, there are a couple of things which we do need to discuss, but for the most part, I'm really happy. The head sculpt from a distance looks great. It looks like Liam Neeson. The proportions are on point. He is on a slightly taller body than Bruce because of the ankle extenders, and we'll touch on that more in just a second. As for Bruce Wayne, he is definitely the weakest of the two. The body still looks great, the armour looks awesome, 
but the head sculpt lets him down. What we are going to do now though is take him off the rotating turntable, punch in and take a closer look at the details. Here we have him up close and personal. Now in just a second I will be popping the ninja mask on because I'm curious to see what that looks like and I also want to hide this atrocious Bruce Wayne head sculpt. Now, I'm pretty sure some people are going to like it, and that's totally fine, we all have our preferences, but for me, this simply ain't it. Now, I kind of knew that going in, so I already had the idea to use this Bruce Wayne sculpt on the body. This is the one that comes with the Toy Fair exclusive Batman Begins figure. We're actually getting a 2.0 version of that figure, so I'll be taking that sculpt when it eventually comes out and popping it on this ninja body. But for now, the 2016 version will suffice perfectly. This sculpt though, as I said, for me, it just doesn't work. The body though looks great. I think the proportions are on point, he's bulky where he needs to be, and a little bit more slender for the legs. You do also have a full fabric outfit, so no worries whatsoever with the more dynamic poses over time. You have this rubbery style armor up on top, and it all looks fairly accurate to the film. There's some sculpted in stitching the various tie downs, some added texture to the straps up the top, and then the gauntlets are detailed to the nines. These look great. You also have a rubbery fin section on the side there, so this shouldn't break off if you get a little bit more adventurous with your posing. Down below you have his belt, which actually has some wires in it. That means if you want it billowing off in the wind to the side, you can get a little bit more creative. You also have this skirt piece, which surprisingly enough, actually has some very subtle bat symbols integrated down below. I never noticed that, and I don't know if that's film accurate, you'll have to let me know down in the comments below. He does have some regular black pants, and this is unfortunately a really cool but really inaccurate piece. He does have a split cut boot design, which you all know I love, but this is a Captain America boot spat. It's not accurate to this outfit at all. In Batman Begins, he had some boots, but there were armor plates on the front. Pop Toys got these accurate. I don't exactly know why Present Toys decided to do this. I mean, it's not the biggest deal in the world. They still look and work perfectly fine with the outfit. But if you're a stickler for accuracy, this just simply isn't going to work for you. But as promised, let's try on the ninja mask. Yeah, okay, I'll be the first to admit, with the mask on, this looks awesome. I am very tempted to leave him like this in the display now. Now, because the head sculpt is one that I care very little about, I'm perfectly happy to leave the mask on. If it gets stained, it gets stained. Whereas if the head sculpt was actually great, I would be very reticent to try and use this mask, but now I'm perfectly happy to leave it on there. As for the sword, you simply thread it through this ribbon section in the back, and it completes the look very nicely. So yes, with the mask on, suddenly I'm starting to like this figure a whole lot more. Now because I did mention this a whole bunch of times throughout the course of the video, I thought it might be prudent to show you what he looks like wearing that Hot Toys Bruce Wayne head sculpt, and it's far better. I think this head sculpt works perfectly on the body. It is slightly smaller in size compared to the one that he comes with, but honestly, that's totally fine. It doesn't bother me whatsoever. Plus, this is technically just a placeholder anyway, until we get that 2.0 version with the new Batman Begins suit. But either way, this should give you an idea of what this looks like if you had it in mind for your own version. Next up, here we have Dukat aka Ra's al Ghul. Now we won't spend a ton of time talking about the body or the outfit because it's identical to Bruce Wayne. The only difference here is they've used slightly longer ankle extenders to give him a taller body. 
and that's fine with me. He needs to be a little bit taller than Bruce, and they've ticked that box. Now, as for the head sculpt, this was the one that I actually really did care about in this set, and they nailed it. I can see the Liam Neeson likeness, the skin texture, the paint applications, the sculpt of the beard and the hair, it's all on point. So thankfully Present Toys gave us a very solid Liam Neeson sculpt. Now unfortunately, Hot Toys never made a Ra's al Ghul, so this is going to be a very nice stand-in for those of us out there who want to have him represented in our display. Now just like Bruce, you can pop the mask on this guy, and this looks pretty cool as well. You can see Liam Neeson's eyes poking through the mask, but because his hair is a little bit higher in terms of the sculpt itself, the mask does sit up a little bit higher as well. This isn't a look that I think I'm going to use in my display, but if you wanted to, yeah, it's totally compatible and it does work. Now I have installed the sword in the exact same way, I kind of wish there was a more sturdy mechanism to install the sword itself into his back a little bit more permanently, maybe even magnets, but either way, if you want to go full ninja on both figures, you can totally do that. Now for a quick side-by-side -side comparison, here we have Ducard and Bruce Wayne standing together, and as you can see, those ankle extenders work wonders. You have a much taller Liam Neeson and a slightly shorter Christian Bale. These two look great standing together. Honestly, I cannot wait to pop them in the display once I, of course, switch that Bruce Wayne head sculpt, but I am super happy with how the outfits, the proportions, the bodies look, especially with them standing side by side. Next up, here we have the Toy Fair exclusive Batman figure, and as you can see, he's a little bit shorter than this ninja version of Bruce. But that's because the old school Nolan vs. Hot Toys were on slightly smaller bodies. I'm hoping that the new version will be on the taller body, but either way, the DX19 definitely is going to be taller, so I'm pretty sure they will have to match that height with the 2.0 version of this Batman Begins figure. So yes, for now, this Ninja Bruce Wayne is too tall, but in the future, when the newer versions of Batman come out, this guy is going to look far more in scale. Just going over articulation. Now, bear in mind this is my personal copy of the figure, so I'm going to be a little bit more careful. I'm sure when you get yours in hand, you can push the joints slightly further than I'm willing to go. Also, because the underlying bodies are the same, the articulation is also the same, so this will also tell you how Ducard will move as well. Now, starting off with the head sculpt, it is on a fixed neck, going forward and back, swivel, then pivot side to side. The arms will go up to there, they will of course go forward and back, although for some reason mine is slightly more restricted. We do have a butterfly joint at the shoulder, swivel at the bicep, a double bend at the elbow that goes a little past 90, and a regular 1-6 scale wrist peg. The torso, because of this sculpted armour, is restricted. You don't get a ton forward, you do however get swivel and pivot side to side. The legs will go forward to there and spring back down a little. They will go out to there, swivel at the upper thigh, a double bend at the knee that goes past 90, plus a ball joint down here for the ankle. Just wrapping up on the present toys Ninja Warrior 2-pack. Now going into this, my expectations were fairly low. I have enjoyed previous present toys releases, but they've always been kind of hit or miss. Now there is one clear standout in the 2-pack, and it's of course the Ra's al Ghul, the Liam Neeson figure. He is awesome. I like the proportions on the body, the outfit looks great, the mask works perfectly, and the head sculpt is on point. The only thing that kind of lets him down a little bit is the fact that the boots aren't accurate. Then we get to the Bruce Wayne, who's definitely the weakest of the two. The body is still great, the outfit is still awesome, because it's the same one that Ra's al Ghul is wearing, but the boots are, yes, still inaccurate, and the head sculpt is atrocious. 
I don't know what they were thinking. There are so many great artists out there that are creating awesome Christian Bale Bruce Wayne head sculpts. Or even just sell this without the sculpt entirely, drop the price, and then it's a BYO head sculpt type of situation. At the very least, you can pop the mask on and hide it, and it's still a movie accurate look. At the end of the day, I'm still glad I picked up the two pack. I can now have both Ra's al Ghul and Bruce Wayne fighting it out on the shelf in my Batman Begins display. It's a set that I've been wanting for a very long time. Even though the Bruce Wayne head sculpt is awful, I have a Hot Toys one and I'll be using it on the figure. Now, I got my set from Comic Sanctorum. I have included the link in the description below, but bear in mind this is a third party, unlicensed, unofficial product. If you are down in the description, why not check out the link to Six Scale Network, the Facebook group. Come along, chat figures, share photos of your collection, and of course, see what's coming up next on the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video.